Hey guys, this is question MM172 of the Maths Methods Fortify Study Guide. So we've got this question that says, Christian has a re rectangular piece of cardboard that is 10 centimeters long and six centimeters wide. Christian cuts squares of side length X centimeters from each of the corners of the cardboard as shown in the diagram below. So we've got this diagram. We know that the rectangle is 10 centimeters uh, long and six centimeters wide, uh, and he's cutting out these squares of X centimeters. He turns up the box to form, sorry, turns up the sides of the box to form an open box, okay? So we're basically taking, we're cutting these bits out so that we've got just this, this shape here, like a cross almost, and we're actually folding the, the sides up to create like, a, like an open box. We know that the volume of the box is a maximum, the question tells us, uh, and the, we need to find the value of X in this case. All right, so, if we're trying to find the maximum volume, that means we need to find a generic formula for the volume first in order to be able to make it a maximum, right? So we know that this is a rectangular box, which means that the volume is gonna be equal to the length times the width times the height. Awesome. Of this box, right? Of the, the turned up box. So our length is not 10 centimeters, because it's only from here to here. That's our length of our box, right? So this length here is equal to 10 minus X, because we're this square is side length X, minus an X over here as well, which means that our length is equal to 10 minus 2X. Awesome. Uh, our width, same sort of thing. We know that our width is six centimeters of this, but we've cut out a square of side length X centimeters, right? Twice, which means that we have a width of six minus two X. And guys, I apologize if it's a bit noisy in the background here, there's a bit, there's some construction going on outside. We also need to find our height. When we turn up the box, turn up the sides of the box, our height is actually gonna be this bit here, right? Because we're gonna fold it up like that which means that this side becomes our new height. And that is just X, right? Because we know that this is side length X. Cool, we've got all of our dimensions here, which means that we can now create an equation for the volume. So our volume is equal to 10 minus two X times six minus two X times X. Remember this is a CAS enabled question guys. So you can use a calculator here. Uh, and I would just chuck this in, oh, you wouldn't even have to put this in the calculator, but I'll, I'll do it now just so that you can see. 4x cubed, take 32x squared plus 60x, is what we get there. Uh, and to find where this volume is at a maximum, keeping in mind that a maximum is at a turning point, which means that our gradient is zero, or our derivative function is equal to zero. So this is v of x. So in order to find where our gradient function is zero, we need to find f dash of x, uh, sorry, v dash of x. Uh, and in this case, it's equal to 12x squared, take 64x plus 60. Now we wanna let v dash of x equals zero to find where the maximum or the stationary point is. Uh, and so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna plug this into our calculator because we can, and why wouldn't we? Which means that 12x squared, take 64x, plus 60, so that's v dash of x, is equal to zero. Put this in your calculator. Menu three, th uh, menu three one is your solve. Uh, and that will spit out x equals uh, 1.2 or x equals 4.1. Now we have to choose an answer, right? Uh, the multiple choice uh, answers, there is a, there's only one in each answer, so we need to pick one of these. If x equals 4.1, that means that we're actually cutting out 4.1 here and 4.1 here, which means we've actually cut out 8.2 uh, centimeters from this side, which is actually not possible because this is only six centimeters. So x can't equal 4.1 because then we'd have no box left. So in that case, x is equal to 1.2, which gives us our answer of b. Guys, if you have any questions, as always, chuck them in the comments below, uh, but otherwise have a great day.